Boy, oh boy, it's kind of exciting. Anyway, uh, geez, I can't believe it. Friday night, so much money down here in the studio. Somebody's dumped about uh, $500,000 into the studio this evening. And, uh, well, that's what they meant when they said they were going to put a bunch of money into, the, into fixing the studio. All I did was push a bunch of bills in here, a thousand of them here. Who's on the front of this one? Rodney Bingenheimer on the front of this $50,000 bill. Uh, unbelievable. Boy, we had a good time down there at the Whiskey. Um, when was it? Well, oh, Tuesday and Wednesday night with the Renegade Band, Rabbit and Renegade, myself down there. Rodney was down there. We ran into some uh, <clears throat> beautiful uh, young ladies down there. Dying to meet us. And, uh, well, let's face it, friends, had a real good time. And, well, <clears throat> made a lot of money, too. Of course, Rodney and I... We're counting out the cash and uh, ended up counting out an awful lot of money for ourselves. And uh, Rodney Rabbit and, and myself split out the back way with an awful lot of cash. And, we, of course, we went straight to Las Vegas where we, well, we gambled our lives away. And that's why i got to get going right now because, well, <clears throat> I lost all, all of my money and i got to go to work. So we'll see you. No, just kidding. Anyway, we had a wonderful time. It was just great uh, down there. Thank you once again for showing up <laughs> showing me up most of these fans showed up and tried to show me up with some kind of jive nonsense trying to of course trying to get me to give away my expensive home and trying to give away all the money that i have um all my valium blue cigarettes were stolen i have a i had a huge carton of uh valium blue longs and uh some little girl grabbed them and, of course, uh, Tanya Tucker was there, and she, she grabbed them and stuck them between her legs, you know. So all of us were afraid to <clears throat> try and get them except for, well, Rodney and Rabbit and I. And uh, we all made a, a mad dive for them, cracking our heads together and <clears throat> something, I don't know. Anyway, sex fever. Let's talk about it. It's running rampant. And here it is in the streets of Los Angeles. Once again, it's that season again. Christmas is coming up. And, of course, uh, well, sex fever's here. So be careful. If you're walking on the streets and someone so suddenly you see someone attacking a stop sign or jumping on a small animal or going wild, uh, <clears throat> uh, leaping on a park bench and just, well, friends, just think about it. Sex fever is returning. It's the attack of that fabulous beast that drove all of us insane, well, last year about this same time. So, you know, do the ultra cool if you can. If you're out there on a Friday night, just think about your boy with a joy toy doing the ultra cool. You know what I'm talking about? Phrase the craze. Yes, it's true, friends. It's been reaching craze proportions. They've gone crazy. Uh, a lot of Fraser Smith impersonators out there. And uh, I can't, uh, they're signing huge tabs. <laughs> I'm serious. Huge alcohol. You know, uh, that's what happened at the whiskey. I had a huge, uh, gigantic bill from people who walked up and claimed to be me. Of course, they saw me up on stage, and yet still, they, you know, didn't realize that it wasn't wasn't me signing that tab. And I ended up paying, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars for all of your drinks. Well, I guess that's showbiz, right? But anyway, on a Friday night, I want to see you jump up and down, scratch some glass, and turn blue you know what i'm talking about i want to send this next tune out from rodney this is a uh, <clears throat> birthday request for a sweet little lady out there sweet 16 rosetta that gorgeous little canadian happy birthday baby on the rock fraser smith radio Oh boy, it's the Fraser Smith Show! Ah, ah. I don't care. Anyway, this is your boss with a hot sauce. Think about it one or two times and then back off and scratch it. You know what I'm talking about? A lot of people say, Fraser, what do you mean? <clears throat> back off and scratch it. Well, if you don't know by now, don't mess with it. On a Friday night! <laughs> this is, oh God, friends, I gotta tell you. My hair is bright pink, my eyes are auburn, and my dress is day glow orange. Hi, <clears throat> I'm Angie Dickinson. Now, this is Fraser Smith, and you know, I got friends, if you can get this, can you tune that color in a little bit better on your radio? Because it, look at this, a shocking pink hair, these huge rippling biceps, and sex fever once again has struck Los Angeles. Well, I think it's time right now, because of that fact, to talk about our favorite new sponsor, 
doggy style malt liquor. That's right, doggy style malt liquor. It's a great uh, new drink, and don't forget, <clears throat> when you drink doggy style malt liquor, you'll take a back seat to no one. That's because, no, it's true, don't let anybody back you into the swimming pool. This is doggy style malt liquor. It's the uh, <clears throat> malt liquor that makes you say, friends, bend over and I'll drive you home. That's right. Doggy style malt liquor, pick it up soon at a theater or adult bookstore near you. Anyway, on a Friday night, what am I talking about? Just doing a few commercials. Um, sex fever, of course, run rampant, gone crazy. We'll tell you about it. Uh, power news coming up. And uh, we've got all kinds of wild news stories that are happening. Things are just going, they've just gone crazy ever since uh, Shecky Green was elected president of the United States. From now on, everybody's got to own a shark skin suit, so if you don't have one now, uh, go on out and buy one, and uh, we'll tell you where you can get one a little bit later on. I want to tell you a little bit later about, uh, speaking of clothing, about some of the new Fraser Smith apparel that's been coming out. We've got Fraser Smith uh, laser suits, Fraser Smith uh, jackets, Fraser Smith ties, shirts, uh, exploding belts, uh, <clears throat> negative calorie uh, weight loss socks, and all kinds of wild things. Fraser Smith panties, of course, uh, and uh, these all these are the things that get you closer to yourself than you've ever been and uh, we'll tell you all about it. these are of course uh, just items that we're just bringing out uh, the Fraser Smith Enterprise is just booming going crazy exploding all over the airwaves uh, all that of course coming up on Power News so we hope you stick around this is going to be a big night Friday night we're going to go wild and tell you all about this sex fever that's uh, roaming the streets making people just crazy and uh, driving them slightly insane yes you've heard about it and now here it is a song I wrote a couple years back. Send me a million dollars. Fraser Smith Show, Friday night. <laughs> You're listening to KROQ FM in Pasadena, and it's time once again, friends, for Fraser Smith Power News. Well, sex fever has once again struck Los Angeles. Yes, it's that season once again. And doctors warn that any unusual feelings that you may be having right now are strictly normal symptoms of this disease. Meanwhile, authorities are reporting sexual attacks uh, by otherwise normal people on dogs, animals, buildings, traffic control signals, stop signs, recreational vehicles, and most often on other people, as people's glands have gone wild here in Los Angeles, causing folks to go temporarily insane sane with sexual desire and people aren't the only ones getting involved in the act believe us uh, actress barbie benton uh, was attacked today by a berserk spider monkey in a local bar who apparently had his hairy way with her and then left without paying his tab sounds like everybody's getting into the act we'll have a film at 11 southern california cult leader charles manson is finally out on parole after serving seven years of a life sentence for his role in the tate labianca murders in an interview with Power News, however, Manson claims that he holds no grudges and is confident that he will be able to adjust to society. Already, Manson says that he convinced a local car dealer to sell him a Rolls Royce for $20 and has moved into a luxury apartment in the Wilshire District. Says Manson, I don't think that I'll have much trouble talking my new friends uh, and my new neighbors uh, <clears throat> into being friends, especially since I talked the landlord into lowering the rent to $5 a month. I wouldn't be surprised if my new friends decided to take up a collection to help buy me my own place real soon. Comedian David Brenner, who has admitted that many of his house guests are almost as boring as he is, has come up with a novel way to stay awake. Brenner said that he came upon the idea when he was wondering what to do with his large collection of antique barber's chairs. Now I don't have any problems with boring visitors, uh, says Brenner. As soon as they walk through the door, I strap them into one of these old chairs and pull out all of their teeth with a pair of pliers. Bonko Whackers of the <clears throat> Bonko Whackers uh, fan club, uh, one of the few survivors of the grisly Smithtown mass suicide in Guyana, told Power News today that cult leader Fraser Smith had gone insane uh, when a rampant syphilitic condition had worsened, causing him to think that he was actress Angie Dickinson. But then he found out that no one would cash checks or allow him to charge large quantities of furs and jewelry using that name. He reportedly went berserk, forcing his followers to drink gallons of dangerous nitromethane fuel and go 24 feet in the air. We'll have a film at 11. In the financial news, the vast Fraser Smith conglomerate reported this week that it is showing huge profits in every area except 
for its popular weekend radio show. The reason for the red ink, it turns out, is that radio personality Fraser Smith is paying his staff of alcoholic writers thousands of dollars a week. The report goes on to state that most of the writers now have purchased large desks and expensive typewriters and have set up offices complete with teletype machines and plush bars all over town. Explain, Smith, I don't know uh, <clears throat> why these guys are bleeding me dry, but they're the only writers in town Carson isn't stealing from. And speaking of Johnny, tragedy struck last week on NBC's Tonight Show when host Johnny Carson was devoured by a carnivorous plant. While millions of viewers looked on, the plant first criticized Carson's suit and then grabbed Carson and swallowed him head first. Highly paid professional comedian Fraser Smith has been hired to fill in for Carson until NBC staffers can determine whether or not the plant can be trained to host a television show. Said one staffer, we've got to do something. We'll never be able to afford to pay Smith the salary that he demands. Well, that's for sure. That's it for Fraser Smith Power News. Of course, brought to you tonight and every week by... Those fabulous Fraser Smith Hurt Yourself t-shirts. Yes, friends, they carry that must-get-laid guarantee, and of course we mean it. Uh, when we say, <clears throat> satisfaction guaranteed or else. Hurt Yourself too. New design, new shirts, new you. That's right, and they carry the old familiar must-get-laid guarantee. So, <clears throat> stay in touch, friends, and someone will want to touch you real soon because these are special shirts they'll be yours i'll tell you where to get them in just a few minutes they'll be available in just about a week hurt yourself too everybody's wondering where to get them people want to know what they are we're going to tell you so stick around on this friday night version fraser smith show Well, can you blame them? All those people uh, that, that see what we're talking about, that's that sex fever thing. And, of course, if you've got uh, an uncontrollable urge and you want to call us up on the sex fever hotline, well, we'll give you the numbers. It's on your screen. Watch your screen. Can you see them there? Oh, they, oh, they can't see. Okay, 578-1067 or 578-1068. And uh, that's the sex fever hotline. We'll have our special operators uh, on their backs and on their knees operating uh, these hotlines, trying to get a hold of some of you people and tell you exactly what you got to do. Clean it up, you know. That's what they're telling us because a lot of people say, Frazier, why do you keep telling those people to do that new dance, the ultra cool? Yeah, the ultra cool, that new dance that I started up there in Canada has now swept the nation and it's turned into a, well, it's, let's face it, it's reached craze proportions. It's reaching craze proportions and uh, they've gone crazy about, well, the new Fraser Smith dance, the ultra cool. So uh, see if you can do it. Uh, there's nothing to it, really. You need some white shoes made of cocaine. And uh, <clears throat> that's just about it. Anyway, hi, I'm Shecky Green, professional comedian. And uh, say, on what? Oh, oh, this is the Fraser Smith show. That's right. I'm taking over for him tonight. Shecky Green here. Welcome to Las Vegas. So nice to have you all here in my hometown. And uh, I'm glad to see so many people out there wearing shark skin clothing. It just, oh, God, you look great. Anyway, Friday night, people saying, Fraser, you've lost your mind. You've gone slightly over the edge. Ever since that Smithtown thing where you forced all those people to drink that <clears throat> doggy-style malt liquor and uh, all that methadone, well, things have gotten a little out of hand. Uh, you've been giving away tons of money, and uh, you've been forcing all those listeners. Of course, that new game show of mine, you bet your ass, uh, where people lost everything, just about everything they owned. Uh, expensive automobiles, uh, wives, uh, houses, husbands, uh, teenage daughters. Uh, High-speed scaldomatic dishwashers uh, with some of the nicest knobs in town. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, I met this one. <clears throat> I'm talking about a three-slot toaster, friends. I'm talking about computerized appliance dating. Say, listen, friends, if you're having a problem finding that right uh, appliance uh, to go out with, well, why don't you check out Big Gorge's uh, three-speed computerized appliance dating. It's the kind of thing where... Well, you know their motto, take out a toaster today. And uh, just uh, fill the slot with something that... Uh, it's ultra cool and ultra exciting, and of course it's a nice buzz and some of the nicest knobs in town. Anyway, this is the Fraser Smith Show. 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 Many years since I was here. 